back, I'm back. All right, let me taste my tea. Let me taste this tea before we even get to it. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. <clears throat> let me tell y'all what... Let me tell y'all what kind of tea I'm drinking before I forget. So I'm drinking a detox tea and um, I'm about to forget already. Uh, ah, a blueberry green tea and a detox tea. Well, laxative tea, whatever. It's the same thing. So, what's the, so anyway? I need to slow down, slow down. What's up, dollies? I'm Dow and I'm back with another video. Period. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you're returning, welcome back. And yes, y'all, this is another Tea Time Tuesday video. And I know I've been gone for like over three weeks. And that is a really, really long time. I did not plan to take a break, but y'all, life happens. But I'm back. I'm back and I'm better, y'all. Anyway, so I ain't, I don't so I don't really have like a tea time Tuesday topic. So I'm just gonna just talk about what's been going on with me like a life update and then just stuff that's going on in the world today because you all so much stuff has happened in a, in these last couple days and it's crazy so first i'm gonna give y'all an update on me ashley and baby a so y'all i am doing good i'm doing good i'm doing real real good y'all um let me see <clears throat> so y'all i took six days off work i just needed some time for me <clears throat> like i was letting my job get the best of me if y'all don't know, I work with teenage girls and they like in a foster care. So sometimes it's good. And then sometimes I just let the job get the best of me. But I have to tell myself, these are young ladies in the system. They they growing up on survival. They not growing up on love. And it, it got to be hard to just be in a place where you you never see your family. You don't really talk to. We got one girl there who don't talk to nobody in her family. She don't see her family in. They going through their own situation, so I can't let like them get the best of me. And I know sometimes they do and say things because they're mad because they don't want to be there. Just like I don't want to be there to go to work, they don't want to live there. Like they gotta wake up and just, you know, just it's just they wake up to different people almost every day. They never wake up to like their mom, their dad, their sisters, their cousins, their auntie. So it gotta be hard on them. So, so yeah, y'all. It was just my job was getting overwhelmed because. It's like, I, hold on, y'all. Let me let me drink my tea because I'm just all over the place, but I'm just trying to catch y'all up because I haven't sat down and talked to y'all in a long time. So <clears throat> I just feel like a lot of times these places do not help these girls. It just basically they just there until they go to the next place. And when certain situations happen and you like write it up and and, and they still don't do anything and it's like. You know, these girls can just basically go out, do drugs, come back, you check them, you find drugs on them, you take them, you write it up, and then nothing is done. It's like, they're not learning their lesson. They're going to do it all over again. But nevertheless, y'all, yeah, I needed to take some time off work. So, yeah, y'all. I just had to take some time off work to get my mind together and to get my house together and, like, just... I don't know, get get back to me. Cause I was just so wrapped up and waking up, going to work, going to sleep, waking up, going to work. Going. I'm like, no, I need some time for me. So y'all, I took some time off work. I took some time from YouTube. I just, I just needed to focus on me. Okay. So yeah, Ashley is doing good y'all. She is growing. Like her stomach is huge. She's 30 weeks, about to be 31 weeks. Friday. What's today? Yep. About to be 31 weeks Friday. So I'm going to answer a picture at the end of this video of baby A. Y'all, he doing good. He's growing and he's very, very, very active. Like he's moving all the time and you can see the movements now. Like at first I just used to feel him, but now I can see him. So he in there, he growing, he doing good, everything looking good. So that's good, y'all. I'm getting hot. It's this tea and this sweater. Y'all, this, I'm talking about sweater, this robe. Y'all, this robe, it's not worth it. This actually Ashley robe. I bought this for her for Christmas, I think, or Valentine's Day. I don't know, one or the two. But y'all, y'all know how it look all, like it's comfy. It's not, it's like hard. It feel like wool, like it's not soft. I like, 
Ashley Victoria's Secret robe better than I like this robe. But I just threw it on because it was on the couch. So, yeah, y'all, don't waste y'all money because it's, it's not even thick. It's like, it's thin. It's not worth it. People just overhyped it because it's a name brand. Like, no, it's not worth it. Okay, so. Now, let's just talk about the situations that's going on in the world today. So, rest in peace to the 14-year-old who fought. Let me slow down. So, rest in peace to the 14-year-old who fell off that roller coaster, you guys. I did not mean to watch the video. I didn't know what was going on. Excuse me. And I was just watching it. I thought it was going to be one of them videos. Y'all know, like, on a slingshot, they be having, like, the camera in front of you and people wigs and stuff be falling off. I thought it was going to be something like that. But I should have known because on Facebook, it say, like, this video is covered, click to uncover. So you had to click it to watch it, whatever. When I tell y'all, that was tragic to see that boy fall off that ride. And it's just so sad because his thing, it wasn't even down. Like, I understand he was big, but even if he is big, it still should have been down. And if they couldn't push it down, they should have told him he can't get on the ride. So yeah, y'all, rest in peace to him. That is just very, very sad. And y'all, when my little brother, he loved getting on roller coasters. He loved getting on fast rides. He, him and Ashley, they love that stuff. But y'all, when we went to see the point last year and they, they had got on a slingshot, I was so scared. Like I was having panic attacks. I was pacing. I couldn't watch. I just kept walking like back and forth. It was, I was just like praying the whole time. And I begged them not to get on that ride. I was like, please, please don't get on this ride. Don't get on this ride. Even though nothing happened to them, thank God. But it's still like, you no. Know, that stuff is not 100% safe. It's not secure. Like, I don't know. I guess was, I'm not going to say it's not secure, but it just be like the what ifs, you know? So, yeah, y'all, I, I don't get on, I don't get on roller coasters. I don't get on rides. I don't do, I don't do none of that. So, I might get on a ride that like go around. As long as it don't come off the ground, go upside down or go backwards, I get on it. But I'm not, if it go up, up I'm not even getting on a pirate ship. You know the little boat that go like that? I'm not getting on that. I'm not getting on the Ferris wheel because it go up too high. And then it stop. No. I don't do rides. I don't do roller coasters. I don't do none of that, y'all. My nerves too bad. Oh, yeah. And then... Oh, my God. Did y'all see the 12-year-old that was in the bathroom with her 14-year-old cousin? And they was on Instagram Live. Tell me why I watched the live, y'all. And after I watched it, I kept watching it. I kept pausing it, trying to watch it in slow motion because I just not could not believe what I was seeing. And it was like, I don't know if y'all seen it, but I'm going to tell y'all what happened in the video. So the girl, she was 12 and her cousin was 14. It was a party. They was at a family party or whatever, but they was in the bathroom and they was playing with a gun. And this one, no regular gun. Ashley said it was a drum on it. It was like this big old circle thing. It kind of looked like a grenade, but Ashley said that's a drum. And it was like connected to the gun. I don't know nothing about guns like that. I don't know what a drum is. I don't know. But I knew that that gun looked very, very heavy. But it was small, but it had that big old thing on it, which was a drum, whatever that is. But anyway, so she was just on live playing with it. But she was playing with it, had it right, right at her cousin's head, like at the back of his head. And she was saying something. She was like, this ain't even no bop. Shot him. Instantly. He fell. So she dropped the gun. She plugged her ears. Then she fell on the floor. Then she like, so at this point, you can't see nothing. Because she on the floor. You can just see the wall. But then you see her head lift up a little bit. And then you see her like, you don't see her shoot herself. But you see, you hear the gunshot. And then you see her head fall. So she had a stake and kill her cousin. And then she killed herself. Like, I don't. I don't know if she like even thought it out. I just think she was like, fuck it. Like I I messed up. I killed my cousin. So it's only right. Like I'm gonna get in trouble. I got to kill myself. So yeah, y'all, that was really, really sad. And like seeing that, I just feel like, even though it's very disturbing to watch, I feel like younger kids should watch that video so they can know like, this is why you don't play with guns. This is why you don't play with guns because it was like she barely touched the trigger, y'all. She just put, she was talking and then she just moved her finger just a little bit and shot him. And then not even like five seconds, she shot herself. 
And then you hear everybody screaming like, what's going on? What's going on? And people trying to get in the bathroom, but their bodies is on the door. Then you see like a lady, she pushed the door and, and she look in the bathroom mirror and she see that they on the floor and she starts screaming. And it's just like, oh my God, that is just a freak accident because I don't know. Like, I don't know what she was thinking in that moment, but I know she knew like, damn, I really fucked up. And she see her cousin laying there on the floor. And so she probably was just like, I'm going to get in trouble or I'm going to go to jail. I don't know what she was thinking, but she just shot herself in the head and you just see her head go like that. And, and y'all, she was 12 years old and she, they were on Instagram live. So this was live. Can y'all imagine just watching somebody live and they sitting there playing with a gun and then somebody make a mistake and shoot somebody and then they shoot themselves. Like that's just a lot. And they were so young and rest in peace to both of them freak accident that is just like a freak accident they saying it's like a accident suicide or something like that but yeah y'all it's real sad it's real real sad that's why if y'all got guns lock them up lock them up and then i believe i signed a paper that said like like you're responsible for this gun. So if like a minor get this gun and make a mistake and like shoot themselves or shoot somebody, you are responsible for this. I believe I signed a paper that said something similar to that. So whoever gun that was, they're going to get charged for what happened because that was their gun. So that gun is their responsibility. Those kids shouldn't, that gun is their responsibility. So those kids should not have had that gun. So yeah, if y'all got guns, lock them up. If y'all are out and about and y'all sit y'all, I don't even understand. Why would you sit your gun down anywhere? Like, I don't care if I'm at a family party. I don't care if I'm at a kid party. I don't care. I'm not sitting my gun down. It's not, I, no, no. It'll be in my purse next to me, but I'm not about to just sit it down on the table. And then, you know, you get up, somebody can grab your gun and do whatever they want with it. Oh, he got him another car. Oh, y'all, I'm so nosy. I be in all my neighbor's business. He got him a new car. Oh, I was thinking that was this other person's car, but it's this other person's car. Y'all, I'm nosy. I can't wait to steal Ashley. Mm-hmm. But yeah, y'all, so... Yeah, I just wanted to come on here and show my face. I don't want y'all to forget about me. I know I've been in my A, but y'all, I've been trying to get my head together and get ready for this baby, y'all. Who's that? And get ready for this, baby, y'all. It's a lot. It's a lot we got to do, y'all. We still ain't got our bags packed for the hospital. Um, we've been doing shopping, like, here and there. But we haven't did a lot of shopping because, again, we want to wait till after the baby shower. And the baby shower is May 1st, period. Um, yeah, so we do have a registry. I'll link it down below if y'all want to get the baby something. Y'all can, but y'all not obligated to. It's up to y'all. So, yeah, y'all, I ain't going to hold y'all long. I just really wanted to come on here and show my face and just chop it up with y'all a little bit, you know. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to end the video here. I ain't going to talk y'all to death too much. But as always, back, just in a bag, bring them to the front, period. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.